Peter Hedges, you might have heard of him. He wrote the novel What's Eating Gilbert Grape. He's worked on such films as About a Boy, A Map of the World, and the list doesn't stop there. And I've written and directed the films Pieces of April, Dan in Real Life, and my new film, which is The Odd Life of Timothy Green. We have explored every medical option. Tonight. Growing up in Iowa, he always knew he wanted to be an actor. His creativity, uh, he was uh, always coming up with uh, ideas, and I did my best not to squelch him. And it, sometimes it was hard not to, because uh, sometimes his ideas seemed a little bit pie in the sky. But his success is, has uh, shown me, you know, that I, when I kept my mouth shut, I've won. Everything I write is born out of the things that matter most to me and family being foremost. So I came from a pretty terrific and complicated family and I try to write stories about pretty terrific and complicated families. I got them, okay? In uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape, there's a uh, scene um, where I told my little brother that while nobody in the film is based, or the novel. I, I told my little brother that none of the characters in Gilbert Grape are based on anyone from the family, but invariably little moments from our life would end up in the film, and he said, that's fine, there's just one thing I don't want you to ever write about. And I said, what's that? And he said, well, remember how I used to take grasshoppers and stick them in the mailbox and chop off their heads? And I said, yeah, and he said, I said, yeah, Philip, it's on the first page. So it was on the first page of the book. His father recalls a scene that also took him by surprise in the film, What's Eating Gilbert Grape? My wife and I were in New York City and we went to a, a theater on 59th and Broadway and we went with Peter and we saw What's Eating Gilbert Grape for the first time. There's a scene in that movie where Arnie is climbing the tower. I don't know whether you're familiar with that, you know. And uh, Gilbert uh, gets a me megaphone and he sings, I know a boy whose name is Arnie, you know. Well, I used to do that with my kids, and I thought I would flip right there on the spot. I didn't know it was in the movie. Like in most of his movies, there are a few memorable lines that stand out to audiences. The same is true with Peter's newest film, The Odd Life of Timothy Green. Our kid would never give up. I noticed that the language we use casually often is insisting or suggesting they have a particular experience. So I kept noticing, I'd say to my kids, have fun, have a great day. And I started to realize, well, maybe they don't want to have fun. Maybe they won't have a great day. So I, I began to change my language. And one of the phrases I now say is, have the day you have. And that's kind of become one of the quotable lines from the film. When people see it, they go, oh, yeah, I'm going to start to say that. So, With some critically acclaimed movies already under his belt, Peter is thinking about heading in a new direction for future projects. What I'm going to do next is I have an idea for a television show that I'm going to create. So it'll either be that or uh, one of the two film scripts I've been writing I'll make as a film. But I, I'm very excited about the, the possibilities of um, what may be next.